Hi everybody, let's -a go! <laughs> well, it's Crit Creature and Trucks back with another review today, and we are doing a review of Nintendo High Season 2. Well, as you can tell, a lot of you just did a lot of you watch Nintendo High Season 2 finale because if you did. You know that my good pal Storm Degree and I just did, we just did our very first collab reaction together. And it was with the season two finale of Nintendo High. And I am so happy we did. And I'm so glad we can do more. We are so happy that we did. We're going to watch, react to every single Nintendo High episode with season three well with that well in nintendo high season two it starts off with mario being the hero of nintendo high after he dealt with bowser and well <laughs> who comes to nintendo high sonic the hedgehog <laughs> and there are a lot more references in this season a lot of them. And in episode 2, well, what do you know? It was a Halloween episode featuring King Boo. Every single thing from Luigi's Mansion 1, Dark Moon, and in, uh, and in the Luigi's Mansion 3. Yeah, all that. Oh, and, uh, huh, there was a lot of other stuff, like with a lot of love stuff between Link and Zelda. Hopefully Link warms up to Zelda eventually, and then there was some stuff with Waluigi and Rosalina, and not to mention there were a lot... <sighs> Guess what? King Boo in that episode was acting a whole lot like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> he was even speaking like him. But guess what? There was a little bit of a tease with Antasma at the end. Which means Antasma might make an appearance. Episode 3 featured was an all Pokemon episode. Then we got a little bit of a two-parter with, along the line, of a two-parter episode of Mario and Luigi going up against Tails and Knuckles, who they thought was hurting Sonic, <laughs> which was a whole lot of a hilariousness. But we got to see... Mario kicked Knuckles' butt a little bit, and vice versa. Oh, and Luigi managed to unlock his lightning powers. And the school that Sonic went to before, it was actually called Sega High. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. But there was also a little bit of an episode where it was just Peach, Daisy, Rosalina, and Zelda with Ness and Lucas. Yeah, those little psychokinetics. They're awesome. They were funny as little babies. And then there was also an episode where, uh, well, episode 7... That was where it was Mario and Peach having a date, but it was ultimately almost ruined by... Uh, oh, Pauline. Ha! Almost ruined, but <laughs> Peach got her revenge. She got managed to get Rosal... Well, Pauline to eat a pie. An apple pie made by, made with, 
eh? You know, <laughs> the elephant apple. Or should it be called an elephant apple? Elephant apple sounds like an appropriate thing. There were references galore in this season. And in that two-parter episode with Mario and Sonic, Luigi, Tails, and Knuckles, Sonic decided to go back to Sega High so it could stop Eggman, who I think is a teacher or a principal or something like that. He's making things worse at Sega High. And at the end... We got to see Metal Sonic, which means we may see Sonic again in Season 3. And in Episode 8, it was great. Mario, Luigi, they went on a double date with their girls, Peach and Daisy. <laughs> and who returns? None other than Bowser. <laughs> and, well, he got a little bit of amnesia. Yeah. Oh, he might have gotten bonked on the head. Yeah. And who got him? It was Bandit. No. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Bandit guy. You know, the Bopple... Bopple... I don't... <laughs> he was very... Very hilarious. And in that episode, Peach and Daisy were fighting against Bowser and the thief man, boy, thief man, <laughs> in what looks like a Mario and Luigi kind of battle scene kind of thing. Like in one of those video games with Mario and Luigi. <laughs> it was funny. And Bowser got his memory back and he was not happy. Uh-uh. And then, in episode 9, the season finale, oh, we got secrets revealed. All about Mario and Luigi's parents. Turns out they were friends with Professor Egad. And they're gone. Like, Mario and Luigi's parents are gone. Gone. Like they fell down in an abyss. While they were helping Egad search for the Grand Star. Which is ultimately like some kind of a power source or something. Yeah. And. Um, we don't know what will happen in season three. We don't know. But, could Mario and Luigi's parents still be alive? We don't know. They're not dead dead. They can't be. The Grand Star has a lot of power. A lot more than the average star. It could be able to grant wishes. Yeah. Well, until they're... Searching then, Egad told Mario and Luigi that they have to train with their powers. And it's going to be great. I can't wait to see what kind of new stuff we're going to see in Season 3. And is Egad up to something? We don't know. Well, that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like our videos, share with your friends, comment what you think, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. <clears throat> yeah, help us reach 400 subscribers. A thanks, Storm Degree, for the awesome collab. Well, and thank you, Foozle, for making this series. Cannot wait to see what you... And your team are going to do for season three. So, without further ado, this is Crit Creature and Tricks. Telling you to have a lovely time. Bye! Rawr!